Welcome to Aaron's Anomalies. This is where we show you puzzles that don't look super awesome, but are, are have some sort of unique twist on them, something awesome in the solution. They're all picked by Aaron here. Yep. So uh, Aaron's the puzzle expert. So Aaron, what do we got today? Oh, we got something special. We're looking at Chiasma. Chiasma. Now this puzzle looks awesome. And there's Now there's two different colors here too. There's a we silver and black and... And a brown and gold. Brown and gold. I yeah. like this. this. This puzzle looks sweet. It's all metal. Now, you had, uh, you had a, a hand in this puzzle, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Aaron got a shout out actually on the Puzzle Master <laughs> website. If you look in the description of this puzzle, Aaron's name is in there. He gets uh, he gets credit for this. So what did, what did you do with this puzzle? Okay, so uh, first off, the company where I work actually manufactured this. This was made in Canada. Sweet, 100% made in Canada too. Hey, some of the made in Canada stuff, they say like made in Canada, but it means like it was painted here or something stupid like that, right? This yep. is 100% Canadian. Yep, and it's water jet out. I actually drew up the uh, all the files for jetting it out. And where do you do like hand drawing? Uh, no, no. Uh, we actually use a draft site for that. Okay, so you use a program that like creates this, and then essentially you have machines that like cut it all out. Yep. Yeah, we use the water jet to cut out the parts. And... It's water. It's not lasers. No nope, water um, jet. I would think lasers, like some sort of like James Bond. Kind of thing. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> water jet. Yeah, water jets are kind of neat too. They're uh, they're almost like liquid sandpaper. You're forcing uh, water at high pressures and then adding sand into it to like quickly erode material off. Okay. So it's kind of like yeah. a high pressure sandpaper saw. <laughs> but yeah, this was this was fully manufactured in Canada, even anodized in Canada. Now, what does anodizing mean? It's uh, more or less aluminum has an oxide layer that uh, is more resistant to scratching. Right. And anodizing, you're putting it into a solution, and you're forcing that uh, layer to form in a stable way. Okay. That makes the material tougher. So yeah, that's uh, we actually did tumble all the parts as well. That's the uh, kind of flecked texture. Oh, that's the texture on this. So that's not the anodizing. No, nope. the anodizing is oh, okay. kind of just clear it. Huh? And then you and you see so color this. So it's colored, anodized, and then tumbled. Uh, we tumble it first before it goes to the anodized. Okay. So everything's done. We don't touch this after it's anodized. Uh, we send it off after tumbling, and then it gets anodized and comes back. Sweet. Yeah, I like this. Okay, so let's uh, Chiasma. Let's get into it here. It's uh, okay. Actually, hold on. I got one more question. Th this probably makes it more like scratch proof. Hey, that like yeah, that uh, that uh, tumbled uh, surface. It's not so easy to notice that it uh, when it gets scratched. Let's see if we can get it on camera here. Hold on. I don't know if this will focus. There we go. So then I now you can maybe see a bit of the yeah, just from how surface. random and uh, how the surface kind of looks. It just it, hmm. It's not as apparent when it scratches. Right. That's cool. So it would be because I imagine when you're doing a lot of this movement, like pieces will scratch in there a little bit or could wear a bit. Right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, any puzzle, no matter what surface or anodizing or whatever you do to it, it'll wear. Like you see Hanayamas, I have several at home where I've worn the zinc coating off of it and you can <laughs> see the, co the copper coating underneath. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Chiasma, this is what, a level like six, seven? Level not? 10. Level 10, okay. No, it's it's a hard one, one yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I think this even, this trumped, uh, this trumped Alan, didn't it? I think that's what you're yeah, saying. Stumped yeah, stumped him, yeah. He had some trouble, because there's a wood version of this, right? Yeah, that was, uh, Pelican made that, yeah. Yeah. Huh. And who's the designer on this? Because you, you didn't design the puzzle. No, that's uh, Yeva's Deerham. Yeah. I hope I said yeah, that who's, right. I think it's yeah, who's? Demirhan? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Designed by Yavuz Demirhan. Created by Aaron and sold by Puzzle Master. It's the yep. process here. Okay. Okay. So let's, okay. We, we've sat around, we've talked a lot about it. Let's get into the puzzle here. What's, uh, what's... So this one's cool because it actually, all four pieces are the same. What? No yep. way. Other than we've colored them differently. Really? But... Yeah, I was. I and I might even, I might even be leading you down a bad path here. So I just need to get this piece down. So I am stuck currently on this one. So I need that to drop. Well, it'd be cool to see it apart. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can get at least a, a picture. We can throw a picture in the corner, maybe, maybe down here. We should have uh, like brought one of the ones that wasn't assembled yet. <laughs> we could have. Yeah, I mean, we still could. 
Are you back at the start? You're back at the yeah, start. Yeah, I'm back at the start. I worked my way back to the start. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? It's so good at puzzles. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's pause there. I'm going to go grab the, the ones apart. Yep. So here we go. I, you know, when you look at this, I'm actually surprised. Like, it initially, it doesn't look like it'd be all four of the same piece. But yeah. Yeah, no, they're, just, they're all the same. They exactly. are all the same. Look at that. I kind of yeah. like that it kind of looks like a key it almost. Does look like yeah. a key. That's what I was just going to say, too. It yeah. looks like a key kind of in that middle of that dead space. Yeah, for sure. The chiasma, hey? The chiasma. <laughs> hey, here, you put it together and let's see this. I'm going to assemble it weird so you guys can be upset that this one's assembled weird. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to start with these two pieces like that. Okay. And you just add one piece at a time? Yep. So, this one will go opposite, but down still. Oh, well, you're assembling the two black ones beside each other. Yep. Let me see what you're doing. Oh, I'm being weird about it. Okay. Okay, so you got that one in. Now, now next to the silver. So now I'll have it at the bottom of that, and I'm just holding it against. Okay. So that's essentially the drop down you were trying to get before, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of interesting because if you, you can assemble this without uh, doing these steps, but you're essentially going to go in circles and you'll never get this together you'll have to disassemble it fully and then get this piece in here properly which which is what some of what chris ramsey did I, I remember when he was doing the excalibur there he would that, that was the problem he was always getting he would do a move and then it would all be back to the start kind of like what you had happen there when we were you were doing that one. Oh yeah uh -huh. so i have this in here now so i'm going to move this over okay so i can move you want me to do on an extra hand here i can pull something <laughs> okay, so we have that like so. We'll yeah. move that forward. Okay. And then we want to have this whole unit shift over. Oh, yeah. I and then we can move this there, hey? to flush. Okay. It comes up. I can see it. I can see it coming together now. Yeah, and then from here, it's just, it's easy work. It's just the pieces will kind of clump together. Right. So there's definitely some moves in that process that like... Oh yeah, there'll be a couple everything. of shifts. You can see this uh, big release or like you can tell something major happened in the movement of the puzzle. Yeah, from here it's just important to keep these two plates flush. Okay. And they should give you movement to shift it around. And do, you, do you feel confident enough that you're right now to, to be able to shoot a solution for this? No, I gotta play with this more. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, I, when I shoot a solution, I want to feel like I'm telling people every step. And right now, like that last bit, I just was kind of aimlessly. Well, I, I like the layout of that. Actually, I think I like that one better. I like that look. That yeah, I mean, sweet. that's cool. I kind of like the idea of buying both of these for like both colors. Yeah. And just could... like doing like all four colors in one. It's just like that a pinwheel. A mix and match. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. You know, Aaron's got a real hard job, man. Playing with puzzles. Right? <laughs> Oof, that's, that's difficult yeah. work. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. Sweet. So that's Chiasma Level 10. This is a Puzzle Master brand, right? Yep. Puzzle As Master brand. As made by Aaron and uh, designed by Yavuz Demirhan. Yep. So Chiasma, get it on puzzlemaster.ca. For sure.